Good morning, everybody. We welcome today Pablo, Pablo Gilcanier. He is the art director of the brand Gilcanier and the owner of the Face Place Academy. Uh, our talk of today will conclude all the talk that we did until now, the talk quiz, our uh, small program. And uh, Pablo will, uh, will explain uh, the color analysis. In Italian, it's armocromia. In English, it's color analysis. I will leave the floor to Pablo. <laughs> he will start and explain everything. Uh, I'm sorry that you cannot see what we have here, but we have all the palette, palette of the colors. And uh, it will be a talk with uh, a little bit different from all the other we had until today. So please, Pablo, it's your turn. Welcome to everyone and all the persons that are also by web. <clears throat> um, today, I always start with an aphorism, my makeup lessons. Uh, and in this case, I thought about uh, San Francis, who is a famous American painter. And uh, he said, yes, color is a real substance. Eccolo, here is coming. Color is the real substance, uh, the starting point that produces both delineation and contour. That means that the color gives the possibility to us to, to do volumes, for example, because sometimes persons said, people said, uh, ah, black is good because I'm fat. So this is no good because black, uh, contouring the shape of the body. So sometimes it's not so uh, right. Uh, perhaps it's better to use the colors uh, according to the shape of the body. And also in the makeup uh, is very important because it gives uh, a big luminosity and uh, it enhances also the face's features, okay? So I want to explain what no, it's una cosa prima. Okay, what is color analysis? So color analysis studies color by applying to people, identifying the most suitable colors for each phototype. No, no, ma anche qui tanto mi muovo. For each phototype, so starting from the effect it has on the skin, especially the skin is the most important think especially the undertone, but after we talk about eyes, lips, and hair, it will be possible to identify the colors that best enhance the features indicated above. So I mean uh, skin, eyes, lips, uh, and uh, hair. It is a, a very sharp science that enhance uh, one's image by means of color, defin defining the range or ranges of colors that I will show you now. This is the famous palette. Mm? This is the range of colors that is suitable for the clothes, but also for makeup, okay? So when I do color analysis on my clients, I always take all these frames after I will show you an example. And uh, I will give her, the client, that could be man or woman, because it's the same for me, and also for, uh, for the communication. It's very important to dress and to wear some clothes that will enhance and give luminosity to our face. It's like uh, uh, an Instagram uh, filter, I say. Sometimes if you dress uh, in uh, a, a color that will not enhance you, uh, normally, it gives like dark and shadows on your skin. For example, it enhances also the dark dark circles. Uh, and when you dress your right color, you see that your face is luminous and your, your treat goes up. Uh, and also, um, it gives like a good energy. So like a vibration. For me, it's very important color. I love black huh? because I, when I normally... Uh, work I used to to dress black because I don't want to be the, the star. No, I want to be 
beside the client. So I want to stay aside the client and and not be the the star because the client in that moment wants to understand uh, the color analysis. So, ah, it's very important because sometimes we are too much concentrated, uh, focused on the uh, harmony and dissonance. Uh, but in fashion, sometimes we want to uh, break down the, um, the, the rules of the colors, the rules in general. Uh, if we think about the uh, Scuola di Anversa, the Anversa school, uh, that is a famous uh, fashion school, they wanted to break down the rules of fashion because in that period, especially in the 90s, they wanted to uh, be uh, like the punk movement, uh, uh, something that uh, fight against the, the rules of fashion. Uh, for example, in Italy, we had the Moschino. Moschino said, what is fashion on, fashion off? Who can say what is on, what is off? Okay. Some history, because sometimes persons say, ah, in this moment uh, is the trend of the uh, armochromia, no? the analysis uh, of colors. And they said, no, it's not from now, because it has it in history, um, especially in the cinema. Um, it has the big, um, the big uh, in, in role, important role uh, of the test of color analysis, because uh, they changed it from black and white uh, movies to uh, colored movies, no? So uh, they saw that uh, you uh, they don't have only to rule the sound, the lights, uh, the costumes, but also um, the colors, because uh, the the actress and the actors uh, that they dress uh, in particular colors in black and white uh, work it, and in when they change it in color movie, they they saw they notice that they didn't uh, have the good uh, uh, appeal, the good allure uh, for them. Okay, so they changed it. The, um, the first um, important inventor uh, was uh, always a painter, uh, is normal, uh, because we are speaking about uh, uh, colors and art, uh, was uh, Albert Henry Mansell who uh, in the early of the 90s uh, created a system of organizing colors, which was to take his name, uh, translate it into a tree-shaped chart that we I will uh, talk about after. And the famous one was also Johannes Itten, who wrote uh, Die Kunst der Farbe. Uh, that was a famous uh, book um, and uh, that explained how the colors uh, uh, works. Um, and, and especially he did uh, like a circle, we call it a circle. Then we uh, see all the colors uh, that are the primary, the secondary, the tertiary, and the complementary um, colors. But the image consultant um, born uh, was born in 1978 when uh, uh, the famous uh, writer Berenice Kertner uh, wrote this book, uh, Color Me Season. After this, uh, there was another that was um, the Jackson, Nicolette Jackson, that uh, wrote another book, uh, Color Me Beautiful Makeup Book and Color Me Man. So in the 80s, we can uh, start uh, the image consulting. Uh, so the, the figure, the of the um, image consultant uh, was born in the 80s. Can we say that it's born with the Pret-a-Porter maybe and with the, all the fashion shows and uh, the start of the, the street styles? Uh, absolutely, yes, because uh, um, in the 60s, especially in the 50s, uh, the fashion was only an elite for some people, not for everybody. So many, I, I remember my mother because my mother was born in 1935 and she said the uh, fashion was on, only for the aristocratic people. So she had a, a really 
great sense of uh, beauty and uh, and harmony and she won in 1956 uh, uh, Miss Elegance Italy so uh, she was very um, interested into the the fashion world so she said to me that it was very difficult in the 60s was better because uh, uh, you remember uh, surely Twiggy, that was a famous uh, uh, model. Uh, um, the fashion was uh, in the street. Uh, uh, but in the 80s, there was the big success of the fashion because there were the top models. No? So um, after that, before that period, uh, only the actress were, or the singers were the fashion icons. In the 80s, the fashion icons were the models. So the top models like uh, uh, Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell, uh, Cindy Crawford, all the beautiful women okay, that we have in the fashion. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, the, um, the, um, the up-to-dated uh, um, color analysis uh, was made by Mary, uh, Mary Spillane of an Anglo-Saxon origin who introduced the concept of flowing based on the 12 typologies similar to the months of the year. So we have four seasons, two cool seasons that are winter and summer, and two warm seasons that are autumn and spring. So sometimes people said, oh, summer is cool. Yes, because the color that we see in the summer are cool, okay? So we are not to think about the temperature, okay? But we have to think about the color we see during this season. So winter, we see cool color, snow, blue sky, blue sea, uh, exactly. exactly. Gray. Gray. <laughs> uh, in, in summer, we see the sea, the sand, the lavender color like this, no? the lilac colors that are very dusty, very soft. They are not brilliant as the color we see in the winter, in the winter time. In autumn, it's very easy because we can imagine uh, a walk into a um, Bosco woods, okay? Uh, and we see all the, uh, all the warm color of the leaf, uh, for example, of the trees. In, uh, in spring, we see all the flowers, all the, um, the blooming of the flowers of the trees. So the color are very warm, but very brilliant. Colorimetry is the most difficult thing in the, in the world of the colors because it's very related to the light, uh, the sunlight, what is light? Light is uh, an electric uh, wave that uh, uh, magnetic that goes from the sun to the earth in perpendicular way. Uh, and they, has, uh, um, they have, um, these waves have a speed that goes from 90, uh, 380 nanometers to 780 nanometers. And these frequencies uh, gives us the possibility to see the color. But the human, uh, the human uh, eyes cannot see all the colors we have in our nature, in our universe. So we can see only this that goes from 700, uh, 780 nanometers, that is the red, to 380 nanometers, that is purple. Okay, what we see uh, normally is this different. Uh, we don't call um, colors, but we call tint. Okay, it's very important to use the uh, sharp name for every kind of um, aspects of the color. Okay. Okay, qui possono andare avanti, tanto l'ho spiegato. Okay, è solo una ripetizione. So the first uh, uh, theory about color, all the philosopher, painter, um, Wolfgang Goethe, 
uh, the writer, no? the famous writer and philosopher, German philosopher, he wrote uh, a book about the theory of colors. So all the persons were always interested into the colors. Uh, the first one was uh, Aristotle, uh, uh, who said uh, that the colors uh, were just a change of tones. So for him, there was before white, after we have yellow, after we have red, purple, green, blue, and black. So for him, it was only the graduation of the value of a color. Value of a color is the different uh, change of the tones of the colors. That is not exact because each color can be lighter or darker. Because if I put into red, for example, in the red, I put a little bit of white, this is a light red. But if I put black in red, it's a dark red. Okay, so it's not a difference of tint, but it's different of tones. Okay. Uh, who broke uh, this philosophy of Aristotle was an English uh, physicist, physicist, Isaac Newton, that demonstrated in uh, 1672 that light that we see as white is not really white, but is, uh, um, uh, is a mix of colors. And he do this experiment um with the the prism the prism and he uh, illuminated this prism with the sun of the ray and if you can see you see that the sunlight is not white but is the mix of these colors how many colors you see in this slide Seven. So I see red, yellow, green, light blue, blue, purple, and um, this mixing purple. No. So I see six colors. So effectively, he did a mistake because in this period, there was a philosophy about number. So seven was the perfect number. So he said that the colors are seven, but really are six. Because if I have the three primary, red, blue, and yellow, and mix these with the secondary. So if I mix blue and yellow, there is orange. If I mix uh, blue and red is purple. If I mix blue and uh, yellow is green. So they are six maximum nine but not seven okay so he did a, a great mistake also the physicians can do mistakes because we are human okay that i said so how we uh, see the color so uh, light travels through the space in a straight line at the speed of 300 kilometers and nanometers. Light radiation is an electromagnetic wave that consists of an electric, electric field and a magnetic field oscillating in the sine waves in a regular pattern, pattern per perpendicular to, the, to each other. The main characteristic of electromagnetic waves is their wavelength, what I said before, no? the frequency of the waves. <clears throat> the wavelength is the distance between the successive uh, crest of the wavelengths. So we see the curve um, with our eyes, and these little organs uh, that are called bastoncelli and coni we see this light uh, with these uh, little organs uh, that gives uh, the uh, the perception of the color to our brain that uh, can read the color. So we see the color because it, the light reflects on the object uh, and the object gives us uh, the information of which color is it, okay? 
The first uh, classification about uh, colors is the colors um, according the Eaton circle, that is primary, secondary, tertiary, and complementary. Then we have achromatic and chromatic uh, colors, especially for the presence of black and white and other colors. Then we have saturated colors and unsaturated colors, and then we have cold, cool, or warm colors due to their temperature. So this is the famous circle. And if you can see, is the, um, the light that we, we studied before in the um, horizontal line, he closed into a circle, okay? So the first uh, color that I call generatory, generation color, they generate other color, okay? Uh, they generate the secondary, the mixing of yellow and red is orange, yeah, red and blue is purple, blue and uh, uh, yellow is green. Then we have the tertiary color, tertiary, that are the mixing between the primary and the secondary, that is a side to the to it. Okay. Okay, color is a three-dimensional entity, and the color wheel alone is not sufficient to represent the entire color space. However, to illustrate the concept of primary, secondary, and complementary colors, the color wheel alone is more than adequate. In painting, primary colors and are defined as those that cannot be obtained by mixing other colors. They are called primary because they generate other color. If I have not these three color, I cannot create other colors. Especially for a makeup artist is very important because if you love the color, uh, if you add the three main color, you can do everything. But if you don't have these three color, it's impossible to do makeup. So this is what I explained before. Okay, so remember primary, secondary and tertiary, okay? And then we have the complementary. This is very important for makeup, especially for camouflage. When you have, for example, coupe rose, redness on your skin, you normally use a green concealer because green fight against red, okay? If you have, for example, purple, dark circles, you have to use vanilla concealer, like a, it's a little bit of yellow inside the vanilla color. And then if you have very dark eye circles, dark circles, that inside you can see that there is blue or coffee color, you have to use apricot concealer because apricot orange is the complementary of blue. Okay, so this is very important, especially for camouflage technique, when you have to cover some important uh, imperfections of the skin, for example, cloasma, redness, cuperose, uh, um, dark spots, uh, uh, and so on, all the very important. Uh, How you cover tattoo? Huh? Because in shows we have also to cover some tattoo. If they are black, it's a blue black. So it's not so black, very black. It's a blue black, so we use orange. If they are multicolored uh, tattoo, we have to, um, can, um, to erase the color. So it's like the decoloration of the hair. We put all white to give uh, uh, the same color to each color. So we cover all the colors and then we go with the color of the skin, but it's a very heavy coverage. So especially sometimes it happens with the brides because they have like in the neck, uh, a not good uh, tattoo because it needs like a restyling sometimes, not because they um, collect the hair up. So they want uh, to cover this uh, tattoo and normally in that, case, we normally cover the tattoo with some 
camouflage products that are products uh, um, produced uh, especially for this kind of uh, makeup that is different than the traditional makeup as my makeup line is not uh, for uh, coverage. It's like to enhance the natural features. So the mix of the three primary color composed the bistro color that we call bistro, that is like a very dark brown. Okay, so if I mix uh, the same percentage of magenta, who is the primary color, it's a, a, a red, and also is the Pantone color of this year, you know, surely that is the color of this year. Then we have cyan, cyan and then we have a yellow that is a cadmium, like a Naples yellow, we call in the Pantone colors. <clears throat> So these are the chromatic and achromatic. Achromatic uh, comes from the Greek uh, language, achromos, without color. Uh, and it, it's a combination uh, of black and white. So there are no colors. It's just a mixing of uh, black and white. For example, this, okay? This is uh, achromatic. Then we have the chromatic color like this. We cannot see that this is a color. So it's very neutral. So you cannot, this is brown, you can see. But this you have to study and to see well, to observe the color and see which color is inside. There is surely magenta, cyan, and yellow, and a lot of white in this color, okay? White gives luminosity, but also the percentage of the, of the component of the color is when you do the swatch, for example. No? You want to taste uh, a lipstick or an um, uh, eyeshadow. You normally do so. And you see this first part is the maximum saturation of the color. When you blend it, you see that the color is the same. It doesn't change, but the intensity, the brightness is very soft, okay? Because there is less quantity of pigmentation inside the color. This is a desaturation color, okay? Uh, fuchsia, for example, for example, Valentino Red, the, the new Valentino Pink, I mean, is saturated, okay? So in fact, the next slide is about the saturated and unsaturated colors. So this is the tone of the colors, or we say the value of the color. At the, the, at the base, we, uh, the bottom, we have black. At the top, we have white. Okay, this is the saturation of the colors. Here you can see that it's like electric purple. And then we, you swatch the color, you do like this, you see that uh, there is like a depigmentation of the color. You see that is the same color, but the brightness, the saturation, the quantity of the pigmentation is less, okay? It's not so easy to explain color. So especially if uh, the audience are not uh, makeup artists or stylists or fashion designer, Big, also, the fashion designer has a lot of problems about personal about. choppers. Also, no personal yes. choppers and the look makers need image to know consulted. image consulted need to know all this palette of colors. Absolutely, but it's also interesting also for the people because you want to know which is your friendly we call friendly colors. Now the color that gives us uh, more. Uh, luminosity. And then, this is very easy, are the warm color and cool color, okay? But if you can observe also red, that if you think about red, you, you think about fire, passion, heart, blood, okay? And you say it's warm, but it's not so because, for example, there is a strawberry red, okay? Or there is uh, like, um, uh, purple, purple red, okay, like magenta. Magenta 
is cool, it's not so warm. But if you go towards the yellow, for example, in this case, you can see coral or I don't know, shrimp color, okay? So in this case, when you add to magenta a little bit of yellow, you can see that the red will be warmer. So red could be warm or cool. So in our palette, there are all the colors. So it's not right if I say I am cool, so I cannot use warm color. In my palette, I can use, I am a winter cool. I can use also warm color like this. These are warm. There is red inside, okay? Or for example, I can use like a yellow, but lime yellow, not, um, I don't know, girasole in English, I don't know how to huh? Sunflower, maybe they're probably simply just easier than can, we can think about. Okay, like uh, sunflower is very warm, okay? Then we have the hard colors that we call also toasted colors because are very warm and they are composed by the two secondary colors. For example, uh, okra, uh, come la pronuncia di questo? Ochre, ochre, uh, that is citro yellow and uh, orange, or uh, like this is like a red wine, for example that is a mixing uh, with violet and orange. And then we have olive green, that is the mixing of violet and green, okay? So we think that uh, olive green is green plus yellow. Now in our mind, we think like this. And in the art, if I want to draw or to paint, uh, an olive tree with the olive mm, fruits, uh, we have to mix green and purple, okay? This is the famous uh, Mansell tree. When I studied this scheme, I immediately realized what the color work. So if we can go to the next, it's very easy, okay? So we can imagine that colors always has these three uh, elements, okay? This is the tone like a tree, okay? This is the tone of a color. We have light colors and dark colors. Why the light is on the top and the darker is on the bottom of the tree for you? Yeah. From the earth to the sun, good good answer. Is it right? Yeah. <laughs> because sun goes on the top of the tree. If I see a tree on the top, I see that the light, uh, the leaves of the of the tree are lighter. If I I am lying uh, under the tree and I am resting and I see from the bottom to the top, the leaves of the tree, I see that are very darker. And the same works with the saturation of the colors, because this is the tone that is in the inside part of the tree, <clears throat> the body, no, tronco. This is the ramo, non so come si dice, scusatemi, ramo frame, branch, the branch of the tree that goes from the lightest part that is touched by the sun towards the inner part of the body of the, of the, of the tree, you can see that the color is unsaturated. The, the reason is always the sun, okay? And then we have the, so, we have the value, the chroma, Mansell called this saturation chroma, and then the circle, that is the hue. The hue are the tints of the color, is the step-by-step -step changing color from yellow to orange, to red, to purple, to blue, to green, 
okay, is the famous Eaton circle, okay? And these also demonstrate the warm color and the cool color because the go is going up. In the morning, we always see the color like very cool color. In fact, in photo, we call uh, blue hour, the hour of the first um, uh, sea. Exactly. First sunny, sunny hours. Yeah. In the midday, we have the neutral because it's a, a good com combination between cool ray and warm ray. And in the sunset, uh, normally is the golden hour because it's more red. Okay. So especially in uh, photo, we always love when the light is uh, directly goes to the face because if it's up, if I put me, I don't know, I stand here and the, go, the light go, goes on, uh, up to me, you can see that you see all the shadows, for example, dark circles, the shadow under the nose, under the, uh, the lips and under the neck, okay? Questo ve l'ho detto. Okay, questa è la cosa più importante. This is the most important thing to recognize and to do a good uh, color analysis. So you are not uh, image consulting is, uh, is right, but you, are, you want to know how it works, no? So... Um, they have to be event organizers. And so <laughs> they have to think also about the mood and the look of models or of whatever and to work with an art director and to say what they would like to have in Sometimes, their... Sometimes, you know, uh, I saw the, the fashion designer and they say, no, this is color is perfect no? for a reddish girl, a reddish hair girl. And I say, this is no good because this is very, very cool. Okay, perhaps this is better that is are very similar to this, but are different, okay? So, così dice, quando assegnano gli abiti. When they the do the fitting, the they fitting of the dresses with a model, they... They do a lot of mistakes for me. <laughs> I mean, uh, for the harmony, I mean, then if you want to do contrast, it's good, okay? But they say, no, no, it's perfect on her because it's in harmony. And sometimes they... Oh, <laughs> it's not so, okay. So the most important thing is the skin, okay? We have, uh, aspetta, basta un attimino. We have an, an undertone that is the most difficult thing to understand. We can see from the veins, mm, or the best thing is to do the draping with gold and silver, so cool and warm, or we can do with this frame, or we can do with this. This is beautiful because Tamara, uh, that is a, a famous uh, image consultant here in Rome, for example, you see cool and warm. You can see that this it makes contrast. This makes harmony. Okay, or better for me, because I'm a softer, I'm not so bright, because when I was young, I had black hair, very dark um, eyebrows, very dark uh, bird. Now, the, under, the undertone and also the softness of the contrast is going down. So this is better, mm -hmm. but in comparison with this, you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. This create harmony, this disorder. <laughs> Disordine proprio. <laughs> okay. So the undertone, and they choose these two. Okay. You can see warm undertone because you see yellow, orange, red in the skin. Okay. This is cool, so I, I choose <clears throat> the, the opposite. 
Johnny Depp, who is very cool because it's olive, blue, purple in his skin, okay? Then we have the value that is the tone of the skin, the phototypes. So this is light, medium, dark. But she is dark, but not so dark as him, okay? In comparison to him, because she is a bright winter, he is a deep winter. So the tone, the famous body of the tree, this you put on the bottom, not on the medium of the body of the tree, okay? Then we have the contrast. The contrast, we use this. This is high contrast. This is medium contrast. This is low contrast. Okay, if you can see, before when I was young, I was this. The contrast was more exaggerated, no? It was exaggerated. Now I am medium. Hmm? This is harmony. And in a few years, you will be soft. Uh, yes. <laughs> With the other one. Ah, va bene. I love tiny skin. Okay. So contrast means the mixing between skin, eyes, brows or hair, and uh, lips. Okay. If the contrast are very strong, it's in high contrast. If, for example, David Beckham is a softer because you see that the color are very, very similar. The color of the skin, the color of the brows, the color of the eyes, the color of the hair are very similar. So this is a low contrast. This is a high contrast because you see the difference between each element, elements. Okay, and this is the brightness uh, intensity that we normally use this. This is bright, this is soft. Bright, luminous, saturated colors. These are unsaturated colors. Okay, so it's very important to dress also the brightness of a color because I love, for example, purple, but I know that my purple is this, or I can always change a little bit like this, hmm? a mixing of these colors, but I cannot use, uh, uh, I don't know, mm, the brilliant and warm color. Quello bright. Okay, these are too much. I cannot afford these kind of colors. I love these colors, but I cannot use it. Okay. So in general, just to uh, have a, a little knowledge about the skin, we have the melanin, that is you melanin and fell melanin. Q is... Um, cool and fair melanin is warm, okay? So when I, um, when I, I was born, I was very black. So the color of the hair and the color of the skin was cool, okay? Now it's cool, but the contrast is lower, but the undertone is always the same. Sometimes it can be happen that in during the uh, aging, the undertone could be a little bit cooler, okay? But normally, if I uh, am uh, an Irish girl, for example, uh, I am warm. So with freckled, red hair, green eyes, it's, diff it's very difficult to change in cool, okay? So this is the phototypes, just going uh, exactly. This is Albino, these are two famous models. And now they are chosen also 
from Dolce Gabbana. They are two sisters. And I did the first uh, uh, photo shooting with them two or three years ago before lockdown. And now they are very famous and they are very used in fashion because, you know, for fashion inclusivity and so on. <clears throat> This is the, the phototype number one, and we call uh, um, white and cool. She is a summer. She is a spring, okay? You can see the difference between the first. The first is cool, the second is warm, okay? She was born with freckled, and with red hair, this is natural color, right? it's not a uh, uh, hairdresser color, <laughs> okay? Green eyes, uh, very light skin, but it's like a creamy color, it's like a ivory, it's not the uh, ash color as the first one. Then we have the medium, in this case she is cool, but the, the brown color, light brown, they could be um, either uh, cool or warm. In this case, is warm, is uh, cool. Then we have the fourth phototype that is the Medi Mediterranean people. Aspetta, sei salita troppo? Okay, the, the Mediterranean mm, women or men that normally are very, very cool, dark skin, but cool. But also in Mediterranean people, we can have uh, warm or cool. For example, uh, Sofia Laurent is warm, is an autumn. Uh, Maria Grazia Cucinotta is cool, okay? Then we have the mulatto, that is a dark brown, the mixing uh, uh, between uh, uh, black and uh, uh, pale skin. And then we have the black, that is the darkest uh, phototype. Also the black um, skin can be all the four seasons. For example, Rihanna is a spring, Iman, a famous um, fashion top model, is a spring, Rihanna is a summer, Iman is a spring, uh, J Lo is an autumn, or Beyonce is an autumn, and Michelle Obama is uh, a winter. Okay, in fact, if you see Michelle Obama, she always dress with a very brilliant color. She is uh, an absolute winter, and she always dress with this color. Okay, the tone of the the skin from the lightest to the darkest one. We call uh, diaphan, diaphanous, ivory, beige, amber, brown, chocolate. Then we have the undertone that I show you before. And we have the overtone. Some, uh, sometimes the upper tone or the overtone uh, co confuse our uh, study the analysis uh, uh, because the redness sometimes uh, you think that is warm, but also Mediterranean people, for example, can suffer of cuperos. Okay, so the upper tone is not so important for the color analysis. Then we have the color of the eyes, we have a basic color, then we have the rays like this, for example, this is warm, this is cool. And then we have the final circle that can be uh, darker in warm tones or in cool tones. And we normally see with the, the lens. The lips also have colors. So they can be dark, light, saturated, unsaturated. These are all the lipstick that we can suggest to all the summer seasons, um, uh, summer or winter or autumn season. So sometimes uh, instead of uh, trying and testing all the colors, we put this is more, is easier no? to test the color of the lipstick. And also, I don't know if you see Netflix, 
There is Hollywood, is a serial, and uh, an actress uh, is going to change her lipstick and she do with this, uh, with this uh, device. Uh, and uh, it's very nice because it's, uh, it is uh, um, a, a story in the 50s, 40, 40, 50s. And what is this, Pablo? Ah, uh, yes, the, <laughs> these are important for the colors of the eyeglasses and also the shape of the glasses according to the face shape. So to uh, understand the face shape, we have uh, these, uh, uh, do you think, ah, makeup artist is so easy. You look into two in uh, YouTube and you become a makeup artist. Okay. This is uh, Leonardo da Vinci Rius. Arrivi qua, tolgo questo e ti faccio vedere a te. Ok, avvi, siediti perché non sei nella telecamera. Così o così? Così. così. Mm -hmm. Vedete questo, this is for the oval, ok? There are the three third, ok? From the hairline to the brows, from the brows to the top of the nose, the top of the nose, the top of the chin. If these three elements are similar, we are an oval. Otherwise, we have other face shapes like uh, inverted triangle, triangle. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, diamond. Fatto forse con un bianco si vede. Ci dovrebbe essere la cartellina, no? <clears throat> Così si vede meglio. Ok, questo. The first is uh, inverted triangle. Mm -hmm. So also the makeup, in this case, we concentrate, we focus our attention on the eyes, not on the lips. Ok, because here we have more space, okay? Then in this case, we use, um, for example, a blush because the most attractive point of this face are the cheekbones, okay? Or for example, uh, we have uh, oblong face. We normally put a little bit of contouring like a bronzer on the top of the chin, on the top of the front, uh, and the blush uh, always put in horizontal direction, not diagonal. Okay. So you change the shape of the face at the end. Exactly, because contouring uh, is the miracle of the makeup. And this is the normal triangle. So this is very important not to put attention to the lips. Uh, because uh, the mandibula, the jawline, is the largest part of the face. So here, for example, you can use like uh, gloss or uh, nude lipsticks, uh, uh, but not so dark or uh, red, for example, on the lips. So if you change all the shapes, which one is the perfect shape, let's say? You can say, I don't need to change this. I don't need to put contouring or whatever. Which one is the perfect shape? Is the oval, but the oval is uh, quite, nobody has this kind of face. <clears throat> the important is to use the, the makeup in the right way. Round. For example, in this case, we put always uh, very strong uh, eyebrows like mine, mm -hmm. like this with an angle, or for women, the eyeliner. The line, eyeliner going up uh, always gives like a V, mm -hmm. v uh, direction. Then we have the heart. Mm -hmm. Then we have the um, 
square face. This is uh, now the most uh, um, filler. Uh, uh, many men now do the filler on the jawline to enlarge this part and to give like masculine uh, effect on the face, especially the triangular. Like ridge in beautiful. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then we have rectangular. Okay, so if I want to understand perfectly the shape of the face, I do like this, and then we have like a um, pinarello. <clears throat> and I draw the face of my client. After that, uh, I do the, um, the, te the color test analysis. It's not, it's like uh, the whiteboard, tipo questi qui, insomma, the whiteboard, questo qua va bene. I put this on the client and I draw <clears throat> and I draw the face shape of the client. In this case, I show her because sometimes our self perception is different, no? Because I think I am fat, always the same. No? I have round face, no. <clears throat> it could be like a square face, but she see herself like a uh, round face. Okay, so now we can do the color analysis if you want. If uh, one of you is with no makeup because, uh, okay. A volunteer come, <laughs> we have a volunteer come here. Yes, we can also taste on her the eyeglasses. Yeah, with the face <laughs> shape. Prendi anche l'altra sedia. No, tanto deve sedersi lei, io devo stare dietro. Ok, va bene. We are doing a test on, okay. on Lavinia. Lavinia is our model for today. Ok. Allora, we have to consider the value, the undertone. the upper tone or over tone, the contrast, the brightness, okay, the ground is in the perfect. Okay, so uh, we have to consider, can we say it louder? Yes, we can. We have to consider the undertone and the upper tone. The overtone or upper tone is more uh, um, understandable hmm? because it's the first thing that you see on the skin that appears on the skin. Then the value that is the tone of the, the skin. So you remember this is the three. Hmm? And this is the circle, no? Okay, so do you think she is here or she is here or in the medium? She is white, bright, dark, or? She's on the top, in the medium, or on the bottom? She has dark skin no? as mine. Medium up, medium up. Medium up. Here. Okay. Because it's not so light, but it's not so dark. Medium is a uh, castana, brown, so she's a little bit of brown, but it seems also a dark uh, blonde, it could be. Hmm? Adesso andiamo a vedere il valore. Okay. For the value, if our opinion is right or not or wrong, we do the test with this. Okay, so 
now I have a color. So normally I dress in uh, black when I do the color analysis, okay? I have to put a cup, a white cup. We are well organized. We have everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because these uh, will uh, influence. Huh? Will influence. Yes. Will change the chrome. The analysis okay. color. <clears throat> okay. We will not cut your hair. <laughs> This is the upper part of the tree. You see the frame or you see the face? Turn a little bit. You see more the face or more the frame? The frame. So this is medium. Okay, and this is dark. You see the frame or you see the face? Someone said the frame. So if you are not uh, sure, you can do the comparison between. So it's better with this. What you think? What you choose? Someone said the dark one. Someone else said medium. <laughs> I do with uh, Maria Cristina. No, stay here. Vabbè, un pochino di make up ce l'hai però. She is darker than. Okay, you can see the difference. You can notice the difference. Okay, so she is in. I am dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I normally uh, do like this with my client, I put the right one in front of her. So she realized that I am medium, okay? Medium value. And questi li togliamo. Now the undertone and the upper tone, that is the most difficult thing. So I start with the drops because before we always use only drops, okay? In the old, uh, Armochromia test analysis uh, color, color analysis. analysis. Okay, what do you notice? Nothing, nothing. Look the redness, the dark circles, if it's better with white or with gold. So put the attention just on one or dark circles. I normally notice uh, here this part that will be darker normally, if it's not right, I mean. So we see luminosity or we see shadow on her face. Okay. Primavera ne abbiamo pochissime in Italia. Nordi, di solito sono le inglesi. Lui è inglese? Olandese, beh, nordico. You Però are spring. Sono... <laughs> Probably, I don't know, we have to do the test. Better with silver, 
than gold. Light, shadow. If you are not sure, you do the comparison between gold and silver. Adesso, uh, you can see, you can notice like the lifter, the elevator. No, you see a part of the face that goes down and the, the other part that go up. You can see, no, the difference. I normally do with a right light here. There is many lights. We have yellow, we have blue, we have the natural lights, we have the reflection of the walls. Normally I do in my academy, with the ring light, uh, neutral, that the temperature. It's a white light, light you know? It's, it's neutral. Neut neutral. Neutral light. is like uh, 45. Uh, uh, 5,500, uh, 5,500 5, Kelvin is the. Um, and the temperature is the temperature of the light. Okay. So if you are not sure of this, that is a little bit more advanced <laughs> color analysis. So we can do with the frame that is easier. Okay. But I wanted to see with this. We always stay with white because pink will change our. Allora, prendiamo le calde e le fredde. So, this is warm. You can see all the red is going up. No? You see that the frame, you see more the frame than the face. Ok, puoi tenerla un attimo tu? La vedo sotto? Ok, vabbè, un secondo. So look the difference is always warm, but it changes the brightness. Here is brighter, this is softer. No, stay. Again, hold. Oops, tent al naso. Better than the first, okay. So the first uh, we take away, so, and we stay with this. It's always the same concept, uh, <clears throat> similitudine e comparazione. Comparison. Similar, similar and comparing. So soft, this is soft, but this is cool. This is warm, uh, um, sorry, cool, but brighter. You don't have to see the, um, the power of the color on the skin, but you have to think that the skin is the most element, import, the, the most important element, not the frame. The frame is, an, uh, is a device to help us to see the skin, not the frame is um, commanda sulla, sulla analisi. Uh, the frame is not the important part of the analysis, but the color of the skin with the frame on the face. What we see in the skin is the important part of the color analysis. You see the frame. better no she's a softer she's not bright okay in fact the the, the color she dress is good 
because it's a soft color. It's not uh, um, Valentino pink. No? Did, did you know this or it's a, pink. by chance? I it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but you see, because every day we change colors and we say in the mirror, mm, this is not, not fit for me, no? You see, then you can do a mistake huh? because you are not uh, an image consultant, but uh, you can see the difference between two things, okay? If you put, for example, uh, this color under, you can see that is too much for her. This is more suitable for her. Okay. So we put here. <clears throat> so the, we are just in a dot with this. Okay. A equation a lot. Can you all? Okay. This and this. Preferite questo? Which one? First or second? The one on her face? Non vedete che si arrossa un po' la pelle? <coughs> the skin will be a little, appears a little bit reddish. So it doesn't enhance the face. This is like a filter, like a Paris filter of uh, Chiara Ferragni. <laughs> <laughs> Now you see that it's better. Is this is also good? Huh? I mean, she can be a border between a soft summer and a soft autumn. Okay, because soft is the element because we have the four seasons. So. Winter. Spring, summer, summer, and autumn. Exactly. These two are cool. Winter and summer are cool. Spring Winter and autumn are warm. Are warm season. Okay. We said before. Then we have two other elements that are brilliant. So. Winter has bright colors, but also spring has bright colors. Okay, then we have deep, that is the value, dark tones. And here we have light colors. In spring, we see light colors, not dark colors. So autumn is always warm, but it is soft. The colors of the leaves of the, in general, are soft colors, okay, are not brilliant. And they are deep. Summer, They have, they are soft and light. So you can see that we have similar things. Okay, è un po' più chiaro questo schema. It's more clear this scheme. So remember. Winter, summer are cool, okay? The difference between winter and summer is the tone, the value, and the brightness. Winter is brilliant, but it has dark colors. Eccolo. Okay. <clears throat> summer is always cool, soft, but light, okay? In comparison with winter, okay?
Okay. Then we have the warm season that are autumn and spring. They are always warm colors, but spring is lighter and brilliant, brighter, and autumn is softer and darker. Okay. Hmm? So she has the element of soft of autumn and summer. But the undertone is different here because this is cool, this is warm. So we have to decide if she is cool or warm. Just always with comparison. I can see the color also with the makeup, no? When you do select the color of the foundation, what do you do? You normally try the color, test the color between face and neck. If the color disappear in our skin, it is the right color. If you see the color, it is not the right color. Lighter or darker or orange or I don't know, yellowish or reddish or pinkish, okay? So we put this and this we put away. Now we have to decide the contrast. The contrast you remember is the mix between eyes, lips, and uh, mm, skin. This is for the worm because there is brown. So this is no good because we say that she's cool. So we take the contrast of the cool. Okay, now we have to decide if she has a high contrast, medium contrast, or low contrast. High contrast. She is a soft. She cannot be brilliant. Contrast, high contrast is typical of bright. So this, no, good, okay. So medium, yes, you are high contrast. Vedi gli occhi come sono scuri e la pelle. You notice the difference between the color of the eyes and the, the skin. Here is more similar. Okay, she's a soft. So medium or low? Low is too much down because she's in the medium of the tree. So this is too high for her. So this is good for her. You can see that there is always a fil rouge light motif of Deutsch. Hmm? A two is always similar. This is according to this, this is according to this. Okay, now we do the brightness, but we said that she is soft, but we do the test. This is warm, so no good. This is cool. Right, you see only the frame, you don't see the face. The frame hits the is going to hit the face. Can you notice one? Perché il colore mio incide. You can see. Hmm? Ecco, per, uh, this, that's why is a sharp science, is not an opinion. Sometimes say, ah, for me, you are a winter. No, I cannot hear this. <clears throat> is a science. So if I go to an image consultant, what she need to do first is this, to know which colors are suitable, which ones are not suitable for me. Yes. Okay. And also a personal shopper knows this or not, or it's only an image consultant. No, what is the difference? 
everybody should know these rules about colors. Otherwise, I cannot suggest to buy, for example, you can buy, for example, something bright, but not for the face. I mean, you can buy a pants, a skirt, shoes, bags. But if I have to put this color, I have to put in the upper part of the body because this gives me luminosity, gives me enhancing, gives me positivity, good vibration, okay? So she is, I do the, the scheme. So undertone, we said that she is cool. Value, medium, see? Contrast, uh, medium. Brightness, no, she is a soft. Okay, so if she is cool, we have to go here, winter or summer. Why? Okay, medium is in the medium of both of them, okay? Medium you can find here. For example, I am a cool winter that, in, that it's a medium, okay? But uh, of the winter, she has not the dark tones because she's light. We see that she's light. She's not dark as me. She cannot be a winter cool like me. Or uh, for example, we see before uh, Anna Hathaway, the actress, no? Okay. <clears throat> she is soft, she is cool, she is medium, but she is also light. Okay, so she is a summer. So summer we have absolute summer. Then we have light summer soft summer and cool summer. Okay, now we have to decide which category is, okay? Vedete che non è proprio semplicissimo, eh? non è una passeggiata di salute. Eh, tanto fai il consulente d'immagine, fai il truccatore, no? Sembra, it seems like a, a normal, a, a very easy job or professional, no? It's, you have to study, especially it's like the training when you do squat, no? The first time you do squat, uh, you cannot, no walking. And it's the same for, it's like a practice of vision. And you have to see many women, many men, many colors. I loved when I was in USA because in USA, I work a lot in Los Angeles and in New York and Miami, and they see a lot of also ethnia, no? Races. <clears throat> so I see black, Asian, Japanese, uh, and uh, Latin America, all the different color of the skin. Okay, so estate assoluta, absolute summer. mal, buono, vediamo se c'è un miglioramento o un peggioramento, we, now we have to see if there is some of these frames that is better or worse, aspetta questi sono gli inverni, ma ah, quella era l'estate perché quello si somiglia con questo, eh? estate assoluta, giusto, ok. Allora, vediamo l'estate chiara. Questo si vede subito la differenza. With this, we can notice the difference. What happens to light? Troppa luce sulla sua pelle, no? Too much light on her skin. You don't recognize her face, no? You see only the frame. So this is no good, so la buttiamo. 
So it's better this or this. And which is the difference between the two frames? And the, the tone is medium. This is a little bit darker, the first one. Puoi fare la differenza tra le due? Make the difference. This is darker. So it's descending. This is up. This is better than the other. Okay, togliamo l'altra, la, l'assoluta. And now take the notice between this. Why? Uh, you want to see the difference, the comparison? Gira di anche un pochino verso di loro. The, the first one is a little bit brighter than the other. This is softer. The other is brighter. A little bit is not so much difference. Huh? What do you prefer? E vedete che tutti diciamo la stessa cosa. Everybody says the same thing, okay? You know, sometimes a uh, person sees something different because also we have some problems with our eyes. For example, some pe persons cannot uh, define in the right way the colors, for example, um, quelli che vedono il rosso con il verde, i daltonici. Okay, daltonic people that see, instead of red, they see green, okay? So you cannot do the image consulting unlikely <clears throat> soft because soft was the element that you can see in each frames that we uh, study we do the the test it was the famous fil rouge that combine all the information we take so after that we normally do the palette Ah, mi sa che l'ho finita che me l'ha portata. Vabbè, gliela do. Ti do l'estate fredda che è molto simile. <coughs> ok, we give the palette to our client with the makeup. So these are the eyeshadows, the blush, the, um, the lipsticks, the color of the foundation and the color of the hair, okay? Poi casomai se passi in accademia ti do quella tua. Mm? Questa è simile, molto simile, ma non è la stessa. Uh, Vogliamo vedere anche the shape of the... We still have a few minutes. We so, have... yes, wow, we have we maximum... We have maximum 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, the first is to... We are seeing the eyeglasses. ...che è un pochino più complicata dei terzi. Andiamo direttamente sulle forme del viso. Tanto, vai, tienile tu, perché sennò io distraggo con il colore. Gira diverso di loro anche? No. Ok, non è un rettangolo. It's not a rectangular. It's a square face. No, it's too large. The square face is too large. Perhaps it's the heart. The heart has very standing um, cheekbones. Round, no, because she has beautiful cheekbones. Mm. Oval, perhaps. Mm, già un pochino meglio. Forse hai un leggermente allungato nella fronte. Eccolo. È tra l'allungato e l'oblungo. Dunque, triangolo inverso. No, sì, è questo qui. 
sì, cioè adesso c'è un po' il riflesso della luce, però diciamo che è un ovale leggermente allungato. It's an oval with a, a little bit of um, front space, ok? So the front is uh, a little bit um, larger, higher than the central part and the down part. Ok, quindi per l'allungato... How many eyeglasses you have in this device? A lot. Ci sono più triangolari. Eccole qua, queste sono quelle per montature rettangolari. Eccolo qua. Questa è troppo piccola. Too small. Eccola. Piena così. Questa sicuramente va meglio. Alza in su. E il colore, the color, is the winter, is in summer. Io userei questa, so direi. Ah, bella. Vedete quanta... You can see, è un purple. Quanta luce dà sul viso rispetto al nero? In comparison with black, black is winter, so it's dark tones. So she... Uh, she, she should use lighter color or medium color and softer color. Like this. Mm? Sì, questa però è un po' calda. Sì. The turtle, turtle um, color, is a little bit warm. In fact, if she doesn't wear foundation, it seems reddish, the face, because her overtone, upper tone, is very red. Okay. So uh, she can, for example, dress this T-shirt, but with a little bit of foundation, because otherwise this pink will enhance the pink of the skin. If she wants, for example, eliminate the red, she has to use the complementary colors that is green, soft green. With soft green, you don't see the red because green fights against red. The okay. signs of colors. Okay. Pablo, uh, how you want to conclude this small talk? I hope that you, are, you were interested into this film, beautiful thing, uh, beautiful world of colors, is a little bit complicated as you can uh, understand, but it's also very stimulating. Okay, thank you to Pablo. <laughs> thank you to your attention. Jill Kanye, our director, and if you are interested in doing your, <laughs> your uh, color analysis, We can take an appointment with Pablo. We can maybe do a workshop all together. Yes, and we <laughs> can do a, a beautiful party with a color test analysis. Make a party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And uh, thank you for participating. And see you.